It's all about name recognition. It's all about uh, familiarity with that name. And color does not make any difference according to the research. Tis the season for lawn signs. From the presidential signs to the local down ballot races, it's hard to drive a mile without seeing a whole variety of political lawn signs. And while we're used to some bold face names, have you noticed other signs don't give away much information, including what party they support? Turns out there's a reason for that, says Michael Rasmussen from Ryder University. They are trying to make themselves um, look as independent of what's going on nationally as possible. And that's not really a surprise because if you live in a Democratic town and you're a Republican candidate, the last thing you want to do is get swept up in national politics. Another reason unique to New Jersey, a lot of towns have nonpartisan elections. They don't actually run as Republicans or Democrats. They can be running in November, but they're running as nonpartisan candidates. And so they may want to distinguish themselves from the presidential presidential campaigns as well. The upside is staying out of the national fray. The downside, you won't get any support from the state political machine. It's all a calculation. As for the color of the sign, that doesn't matter much at all. The first time I remember blue emphatically being Democrats and red emphatically being Republicans was 2000 when we started looking at these red state, blue state maps. Um, prior to that, you would kind of see whoever got first, whoever got there first, whoever printed their signs first would print in either blue or red, and you would be stuck with what was left. What's also interesting here in New Jersey, you might see lawn signs for one presidential candidate and down ballot signs from another, proving that voters here may also be interested this November in splitting the ticket. In Milburn, New Jersey, Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.